All right, I have Samantha here with me today. Thank you so much for joining me for this interview. Thank you for having me. Of course, I just have a few questions for you. Can you describe a typical day living with POF and some of the challenges that you face? I didn't really know that I had POF, um, but there were signs, um, but you just think that it's normal. Um, I struggled with my weight um, and I, I really tried to lose weight and it wouldn't come off and I thought everybody struggled to maintain um, weight and that's not normal. Um, I don't know when my period's going to happen. Um, it's very sporadic. They can be um, 40 days to every two weeks and um, I, I was one of the lucky ones that never stopped having a period um, but it was still a challenge. Um, I never could get my hair to grow. Um, I had thin hair um, that wasn't uh, growing and so it was uh, it, it was difficult but I didn't like I think I was running around with like my check engine light on not knowing that I was sick you know and um, then once this diagnosis came it was it started to all make sense. How did you first hear about R3 stem cell and the treatment options that are available here? After the diagnosis I went into a depression um, I, I, I gave up hope the doctors um, at the clinic that I went to basically had written me off because I didn't want um, to go the path that they wanted me to do which was donor um, eggs that wasn't for me and so they basically just sent me away um, they were not very kind and I decided no I'm going to research so I went into researching and I found that stem cells can help with this and then I found R3 and it just, um, the reviews and everything looked very promising. Mm -hmm. So I made the phone call. I talked to Tracy first. She was phenomenal. And she said, I want to get you in touch with Dr. Green. And I was really nervous um, talking to Dr. Green. But he, he made me feel heard. Right. Um, and he was willing to take the chance with me. Um, and he was so enthusiastic. He's like, let's do this. Um, and he... He was wanting to do what I wanted with the intravenous stem cells and the direct injection. Mm -hmm. um, but so far, everybody's been so caring here, and I was just glad to find um, R3 I'm through so, my research. I'm so happy you feel that way because there's nothing worse than going to see a doctor and being told, there's nothing we can do for you by, you know, it's it's the person that's supposed to be helping you isn't helping you. Exactly. It's devastating. Right. And you, you lose hope. And after talking with Dr. Green, I had hope again. What are some of your personal goals and aspirations post-treatment? Um, so post-treatment, ultimately, I hope to have another child. Um, we're going to do IVF, and um, I just hope to get... That would be a complete success for me. Right. Would we have would be to have enough eggs for um, an I a successful IVF treatment. Mm -hmm. um, but beyond that, getting my hormones straightened out, if these stem cells can help my, my ovaries be rejuvenated enough to straighten out my hormones where I'm not having such a battle with my weight, my hair isn't falling out, and I can live as normal of a life as possible. I mean, the other doctors told me, you're four times more at risk for ovarian cancer and osteoporosis and all of this stuff because of this diagnosis. They wouldn't help me. They weren't offering they didn't me any, any solutions. And um, so finding uh, R3, I, I'm hopeful to have solutions to that. How has the support from your healthcare provider been crucial in this journey of yours? It's been extremely crucial um, in, in giving me hope to carry on. Um, when I was diagnosed with it, I just fell into this depression and I thought it, it was hopeless and um, I blamed myself and then I had the meeting with Dr. Green and he was so kind and um, he, he heard me and he was willing to give me a chance and so his support is why I'm here. What advice would you give to others living with POF uh, who are considering stem cell therapy? Do it. Um, even, I, like, stem cell isn't 100% guarantee. It's not, you know, this, this magic cure. It may not work for everybody, but there's no harm in trying. Right. There's no, at least you can look back and say, I did everything, I tried everything, and, um, like, I, I would tell them do it. No hesitation. Mm -hmm. 
Well, thank you so much for your answers. I really appreciate your vulnerability and being here with me today. Thank you. Of course.